AMD is expected to introduce its entry-level RDNA 2 GPU, the Navi 24, for its Radeon RX 6000 series GPU lineup in quarter one of 2022, according to the latest information by Moore's Law is Dead. Based on the information from his sources, Moore's Law is Dead states that the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series is going to be further expanded in quarter one of 2022 with entry-level products based on the Navi 24 GPU. The Navi 24 will be the smallest discrete GPU within the RDNA 2 lineup and will be coming to desktops in a package rated at around 100 to 120 watts. It is said that the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics card based on the Navi 24 GPU will compete against Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3050 Ti and entry tier Intel Arc GPU designs. There could be at least two variants for the Navi 24 GPU being sold at around $200 US, which would still net AMD a good profit. Interestingly, it is stated that while previous leaks had hinted at a sub 75 watt TDP for the Navi 24 GPUs, that may be true for notebook models, but for desktop models might go for a higher TDP rating to scale up performance to be highly competitive in their specific segment. As such, Navi 24 is expected to get some really high clock speeds, even surpassing the 2.8 GHz barrier, although that remains to be seen. Through previous leaks, we know that the AMD Navi 24 RDNA 2 GPU will feature a single SDMA engine. The chip will feature two shader arrays and a maximum of 16 compute units. AMD has 64 stream processors per compute unit, so that brings the total core count on the Navi 24 GPU to 1024, which is half that of the Navi 23 GPUs, which offer 2048 stream processors in 32 compute units. In addition to the number of cores, each shader array would feature 128 kilobytes of L1, 1 megabyte of L2, and there would also be 16 megabytes of Infinity Cache. The Infinity Cache is pretty interesting since early rumors had stated that the GPUs below Navi 23 wouldn't feature any additional last level cache. The AMD Navi 24 RDNA 2 GPUs will also be featured across a 64-bit bus interface and will be featured on the low-end Radeon RX 6500 or RX 6400 series parts. But what do you think? Would you pick up a Navi 24 GPU or stick with Nvidia's GPUs? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.